Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're going to be going through and talking about patch 10.3 because they are officially releasing a new patch that fixes all sorts of really cool things in the game that we have all been asking a ton about. But before we go any further, I want to thank everybody so much because today is also Grounded's one year anniversary that the game has been released. The game has officially been out for one year and we are so excited in the Grounded community of creators that we have been able to play this game for the last year. I cannot thank you guys enough and I've just spent a good long time talking to some fantastic creators that are over on Twitch. All of their channels are fantastic from Two Girls One Game to uh, to Obi Burt Kenobi, Bull Skunk, um, Master of None, uh, Tiny Pirate Gaming, all sorts of really cool channels over there, and some that I even missed. And if I missed you guys, I apologize for that. But some really, really cool creators, and I got to spend a good long time, and we talked about how thankful we are for this awesome community. So thank you to everybody so much for one awesome year of Grounded, one awesome year of videos on my channel, and one awesome year of playing a wonderful, wonderful game. So let's. Let's hop in and let's talk about patch 10.3 and all the awesome fixes that they have released in it. So it says right here, patch 10.3 is sending out to download and install. Uh, please update your game when you see this update is available to receive the following fixes and changes. So the first change is one ever charcoal piece is guaranteed to spawn every eight days in game. So no longer are we going to be going many, many days in game without getting more ever burning charcoal pieces or ever coal, ever char coal. Uh, however you want to pronounce it, I'm going to probably say ever burning charcoal because, well, that's probably just what I'm going to say. But one piece will guarantee to spawn every in-game day, every eight in-game days, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm happy that we're going to be getting that because that means more ovens, which means bigger builds, which means even cooler things coming from the community. The bird will now always drop a small feather when arriving at a perch. This is in addition to the existing large feather drop weight, which remains unchanged. So they did not change the drop rate of the existing large feather drops that drop between two to three to six crow feather pieces whenever you harvest them but we are getting a small feather now that's going to drop every time the bird gets to a perch i'm assuming that this small feather is probably going to give you one to two feather pieces i can't actually load into the game to find that out right now because my game hasn't updated yet so i can't go through and actually get this information for you guys yet so we just have to wait a little bit longer until the update comes out and I can go and confirm this no matter what. But I'm pretty excited about the fact that we're getting more uh, crow feather pieces because with the crow feather roofing pieces, we really do want a lot more uh, of those crow feathers. So the fact that we're getting more of them now, that's going to help for arrows. It's going to help for crow feather building pieces. It's going to help for uh, feather hats. All around, just going to help a lot more. So happy that we're getting that in there now too. For our Xbox One friends here, we have... Uh, reduced memory going in and out of UIs to prevent an out of memory crash in worlds with large bases built. This is a big deal because as we've played more and more grounded and it's been over a year that some people have been putting into their maps, your Xbox One tends to start to crash out because maps are getting too big. So the fact that they're going through and they're realizing that and they're making those changes is fantastic. And finally, we have here bug fixes all platforms. Fireflies and other creatures will hang around their appropriate locations again, meaning that now when you have issues like fireflies are not spawning into the backyard for you or you can't find them, they are now going to actually spawn in and hang out where they are supposed to in their original spawn locations where they were set up to be in the first place. So happy about all these fixes. You can see that they're going through and making changes to 10.3, even though that the game is still in an early access stage they're still going through and working hard and getting it updated and doing their job as developers which is fantastic and i really do appreciate that thank you all so much for that and thank you to all of the obsidian team that is working on grounded it really has changed my life it's changed this channel it's changed the lives of a lot of people who play this game and i have had many 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 hours of fun being able to play this game not only streaming it but playing it on my own time and just having a wonderful time so thank you so much much to everybody who's watching this video. Thank you to everybody who clicked on it. Thank you to everybody who's clicking the like button. Leave me a comment down below if these updates are going to help you and your builds. And also, don't forget to subscribe, turn your bell notification to all. And also, as an added bonus, I'd like you guys all to go check out my Twitch as well because I am going to start streaming Grounded over there as well with some of those really cool content creators I was telling you guys about in the earlier part of the video. So thank you guys all so much, and I'll see all of you guys in the next one.